What's up everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today we're gonna be going through Assault in the Control Room Legendary without dying once. It's the next stop on our completion of the entire campaign. Quite the challenge if you ask me. I love these cutscenes, man. Just that little bit. Add some funny moments to the game, you know, more characterization of the grunts. Yeah, this part can be pretty challenging. It can kind of steamroll you real quickly if, if you don't know how to play it. So you always toss a grenade, right? There's two red elites, and as I've been saying in the past episodes, those guys are not to be trifled with. Just like the parasite, alright? Yeah. So I'm doing pretty good at this part. Um, got a weak shield, but I was able to go through. I've died so many times on just this beginning part here. Mop up the grunts. And uh, I'll be fast-forwarding through some of the parts of this level just because it is such a long one and uh, it took me a while to get through. Alright, so I usually try to get this guy stealthily, right? Try to try to just sneak in there at just the right time. Nope, nope, hey, oh, nope, I'm not gonna get it. But I got a, I got a sick jump there and now I'm waking up everyone else. Yeah, yeah, see just that one guy, you know, Took out my shields and a little bit of health, so you, you really can't fuck around with those guys. Alright, gonna mop those guys up. Moving through. I, I usually move through on the left, you know, of these circular areas. You can see how many bullets each of them take, you know. Oh, fuck those guys up there. So pesky! Get out of here. But you know, I was looking at some Halo 2 footage the other day, and and when I review Halo 2 and make a video of that, um, I'll say this as well, but it takes five shots from a plasma pistol to kill you in Halo 2, you know? Five shots, and they fire it faster than they do in this one, so it's, it's just crazy how much more difficult Halo 2 is, you know? The health bar really gives you a nice buffer. And I'm thinking about making a video titled, Why is Halo 2 so fucking hard? Something like that. And I'll work on it with Hokeybird428, if you guys know him as well. That'll be a pretty fun video. This is one of the best parts of the campaign as well. You know, on this bridge, you got banshees, you got grunts to just whack at your pleasure. Allied troops coming in. Of course, you're gonna want to take out the banshees first. Those buggers. Uh, should be almost dead. And boom. Oh, Mr. Elite right there. Damn. What can happen to you sometimes as well is when you're like running away or to reload, you can actually get in the shade turret on accident. And uh, you know, I said I wasn't going to do any exploits for this, so I could just easily do the uh, the you know map despawning glitch where you you jump off the side of the mountain. I could have just done that, but that's that's no fun. Well, it is fun, but it's but it's not legit. You know, that's a that's an exploit that basically, you know, eliminates 95% of the enemies. So, yeah, checking these corridors. There's always grunts down here somewhere sleeping. You know, taking a little nap, despite all the gunfire. Take some needles to the face, kids. It'll teach you to join the covenant. Alright, we'll take out these jackals here. Don't want them creeping up behind us. Pow! Yeah, same thing, just taking out these guys from a distance, you know. The gold elite. He's out for blood, dude, but so are my needles. Yeah, so you can see, you know, this game really gives you a lot of unique encounters you know you got those turrets at the end you got jackals and grunts on the bridges down below you got this guy who just exploded the fuck everywhere gotta love the blood too i mean just look at that it's ridiculous ridiculous amounts of blood all right so we're in the next circular room we got that badass music going on Let's see if i can stick this guy boom and maybe they're coming, maybe they're not. Alright. 
slow and cautious. All right, don't need to go in guns blazing. Yeah, I want to take out those little those little critters. God, I hate the invisible elites. They always sneak up on you when you least expect it. Hard to shoot them too. Yeah, see, he could he could have just taken me out there, but I had my wits about me. Almost out of pistol ammo too, but I believe there's more on the left side, so I should be good. You know, I always thought it was interesting. The Needler is more of a gun that's meant to be used by the AI more so than you, because it's it's really only good when you get the super combined. You know, it can be used to harass, but I always kind of thought of the Needler as a weapon for the AI. Yeah, just like I said, sweet sweet ammo and hunters. All right, so this can be a difficult spot, despite how easy it is to kill the hunters. They can still catch you off guard. Uh, I, I feel like I was just shooting him because I didn't want to <laughs> kill him with the pistol for whatever reason. I think it's going to come back to bite me. Yes, it did. Wow. See, e even though I thought I had the edge, I played this game a hundred times, you know. They still caught me off guard, so I'm like, alright, no more fucking around. Bam! All that blood there, okay. No more health pack, so yeah, I just wasted that, so I'm back to the same amount of health that I had before. Alright, moving through. So things to look out for in this level are, you know, fall damage. You can fall off a lot of the bridges and die. Uh, banshees, those wraiths. You know, it's not so much... Well, actually, the wraiths are probably the only thing that are new in this level that you see for the first time, so of course gotta watch out for those. And we got this nice quiet area. I love this music too. Whacking grunts in the face. I always try to play these parts as stealthy as I can. Um, it's just more fun that way. I feel like it, that's kind of how it was meant to be played, is, you know, you're kind of supposed to take it slow, and you can just charge in there. It's not as viable, I think, because, you know, there's a lot of enemies, and they'll, they'll gang up on you, but... Ah, I always... God, how did he see me? He just turned his head to the side. Did you also hear the sword sound effect when he whacked me? Yeah. Interesting. Now I gotta take this red guy out before he causes any more damage. Man, he's still kicking. What a badass. But now all the grunts and everyone are awake. They know, they know what I'm doing, what I'm up to. I'm gonna get this plasma rifle to make it easier to kill the uh, elites. Damn jackals. Oh, how about that nade? Pretty nice, huh? Alright, so we're through, and now this is the really freaking hard part of the level. Because uh, you got those two turrets that you gotta take out, like, right away. You got these forces assaulting the marines on the left. You gotta try and save the marines so you can have someone in the gunner, but you got ghosts coming in and a ray firing mortars, and it, it's just, man, it's so difficult to survive this part, let alone keep the marines alive. And, you know, because you gotta watch the mortars there, you gotta watch the ghosts and all those other troops, and... Hope to God that they just get in, but nope, they're all fucking dead. So, I'm gonna be uh, kinda SOL right now. Yeah, pretty bad spot right here, pretty bad. Just gonna hide behind this. And I know if I reload, I'd, I'd get in the Warthog, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Watching for mortars. Trying to take that damn ghost out. I think I got him. Yes, I did. Although it's probably a really weak ghost, so I don't want to risk getting in it. But you got a uh, sniper and rocket launcher, and I'm probably going to pick up the rocket launcher. This this is arguably the hardest mission in the game, or at least one of. I'd say the three hardest for me in this playthrough were Two Betrayals, Truth and Reconciliation, and Assault in the, uh, assault in the Control Room. Just because of the length of the level and, you know, how many enemies and difficult scenarios you got to go through. Like this wraith, so I don't have any guys, any marines backing me up, so I gotta take him out with rockets. Or I could, you know, just sprint past him, but, meh. 
I prefer to kill him. He deserves death. Missed my third shot there. Or my second. I thought I had him. Those buggers are strong. So I'm gonna do my little dance around. We're gonna take this guy out. Come on, Act Man. You can hit those shots. Yeah, see, and then you got constant reinforcements coming in. So, you know, they really, you know, the level design is just really good because you, you're always on your toes and, you know, it doesn't feel cheap. Those guys don't just, like, spawn up in your face like the Prometheans do. So you can see them coming from a ways away and react to it. All right, I should be able to take him out with two more shots. Boom. Watch the mortars and... Boom! Yeah! Alright, on to the next section. Alright, this part's really difficult. Man, the freaking ice just messes you up. Come on, come on, come on, okay. Oh, man, you see how fast all those guys died? Good lord. I don't know why I got out here. Just, just trying to snipe them. But you see, I got the elite, so now all the grunts are leaving me alone. Again, great enemy design. You know, it's just superb. But man, I just can't save any of these marines, you know? I used to reset to checkpoint on these levels just to make sure I, I save some of them, you know? It always felt bad if, if I didn't save any of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my time here. Snipe, get through. And getting a scorpion probably soon enough. I don't know why I just don't get in the scorpion. I guess they just like sniping. Gonna pick up some of these nades and then we'll be on our way. Yeah, it's just so much more badass when you got four marines sitting on the back or on the sides of the scorpion with you. Just wrecking up the place. Well, that music didn't last very long, but hey. And as soon as you get in the Scorpion, more ghosts show up, right? You know, so you gotta watch out for those guys. But it really gives you a, a nice taste of vehicle combat with the Scorpion and, and using that. You know, you get to destroy little things, small things, and big things with it. And that's a, a nice... That's a nice balance of, of units, but... The Scorpion in Combat Evolved is always a little tricky to pilot. It doesn't handle like the the other tanks in the series. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I don't think you can pivot the turret without moving the, the tank. I'm trying to get that guy in the turret there. Boom, there we go. Try to get that guy as well. their tanks to defend the entrance to the tunnel yeah thanks for the tip Cortana I'll be wary of those tanks and yeah you usually have the edge on the on the wraiths because it's a lot harder for them to hit you with the mortars than it is for you to hit them with the the uh, the scorpion but even so you know two shots from that and you're done got these pesky ghosts bothering me I uh, shouldn't have a problem taking him out. There we go. All right. All right. Man, and this banshee. Boom! What? Oh, I missed that. I thought I had him. Yeah, I'm not trying to dive. Oh, man, there's that wraith up there, too. I think there's two wraiths up there. Now that I'm in viz. They don't see me. I don't... I mean, that... I don't know why I got the invis there, but... There we go. That banshee's done for. Oh, what's up, hunter buddies? Oh, there goes my invis. Bam! And... Oh, nope, nope. Probably just take him out with a... Oh, there we go. Shot him in that little orange spot in his head. I'll, I, I really do like how the hunters have specific kill shots like that, you know. 
it's not just in the back. You, you know, if you're pinpoint or I was above them, so I had a better angle. All right, now we're gonna move through. All right, a couple of elites patrolling the area. Don't mind if I crash the party. Then you got this big section here. The bridges and all the troops on them. There's a lot of guys though. So I'm just gonna try and fire at them from a distance. That's, that's what I usually do to make it easier on my way there, you know. Nice explosions in the distance. Now let's see what the anniversary graphics look like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'm trying to get the hunters out of there because those guys' fuel rods are pretty deadly. Even to a scorpion. There's a turret over there. They got fortifications all over the place, man. Right, so you're going to want to clear this area as much as possible before you move across because you, you don't want to get trapped or you know bombed by a bunch of enemies at least that's my thinking yeah so even you know you take one of those charged plasma pistol shots and then a hunter shoots in you take other fire and, and that's all she wrote so that's why I'm being careful here all right looking pretty good I think there's if I remember correctly, there's like some hunter, there's like a hunter body and a bunch of marines. Oh god, what did I do? <laughs> what a retard. I'm talking about myself, I just shot myself, but... See how I got out of the scorpion to, you know, give myself some extra room not to get hit by the plasma nade, but... Yeah, as I was saying, there's like a little battle and story, you know, on one of those areas. Oh yeah, it's over there. See, there's a bunch of marines and a dead hunter. And those things are cool, you know, because if you explore, you get to see those things and you imagine, oh, shit, some of these marines must have went up against a hunter and taken them down, but not without dying on their own. Yeah, so now we come to uh, an uphill battle, literally, through the caves out into the open. All right. Yeah, just gonna take out all these guys and uh, it's really not too hard the parts with the scorpion you know because if you're just slow methodical and careful you can pick things off from a distance and move through relatively safe and uh, that's a pretty good strategy Yeah, as I was saying, you know, taking out that wraith from a distance, because the thing about legendary is when you just try to barrel through, it's a, it's a lot harder than you'd expect, you know, so I just, I just make it easier on myself. Take out these pesky guys. Now, another thing I really love about the level design is, you know, you see there's the path on the right, which has three paths, you know, one to the right, one up the middle, up that ramp there, one to the left, and then you got that door on the other side. You could also go on the left through there. So you, you got a lot of options to just walk around and do whatever, you know? Let's see if I can hit this guy. Yeah, boom! That's what I love about Combat Evolved so much, is you can take these little side detours and, you know, maybe find some more enemies to fight or a power-up. Now, what I'm doing is pretty risky, and I don't know why I'm doing it in a legendary no death run, but you really have no reason to go over to this point. I mean, there's an active camo, but you have a tank, so, you know, you don't really need to. Alright. Oh, oh, missed. Wow, missed all of that. Boy. See, that was risky. And I'm just like, nah, fuck that. I'm not dealing with invisible sword elites. So let's move forward. Man, where did all these guys come from? Oh, seriously, where did they come from? Did they spawn in? Try to flank me? 
Uh, it's fun shooting them and watch their bodies go flying all over the place. Gotta say, freaking pesky jackals. Alright, taking them out from a distance, because, again, you know, even one plasma grenade from one of those grunts will take out your shields and leave you vulnerable. Yeah, which is why I'm being careful and backing up. Taking out those guys. And we're on our way. We're going to be coming up against some marines here. That should help us out a bit. Well, that was a nice shot. Got some turrets over the side and... You know, this level really gives you a sense of scale. You know, everything's so big. There's these wide canyons, these wide areas to fight in, multiple paths. Um, it just really made the, the Halo ring feel really big and expansive, you know? And, w and with a different environment. All right, taking out all those guys. Looks like it's pretty good. I think there's just that one turret left. Might as well take him out just to be safe if this damn thing could hit it. Come on. I think that got him. Nope, it didn't. I can see. Uh, do I kill him? No, I must think he's he's all good. I thought the Covenant had eliminated all the Marines. Now, sometimes I'll just like drive the, the scorpion right over that ramp and just attack those hunters. Nice. I love the marine dialogue. <laughs> I knew there was one on board. Huh, that rock catches your eye. So, I mean, you could just, you know, you don't have to fight with these marines. You, there's a lot of battles that you really don't have to fight, but we're not speedrunning. I'm just doing this for fun, you know, showcasing what it's like to beat the game on Legendary without dying. Not necessarily killing all the um, enemies, but... You know, just just playing the way that I like to play these missions. Boom, got him. Now there's an active camo, some more ammo. Um, what am I gonna do? I think I'm deciding if I want to get it or not, and I do. So let's go through and let's whack some stuff. I'm not sure why I swapped out the sniper for a pistol, but maybe it's better. Now, if you get too close to this guy, he can whack you right in the face, and and that's all she wrote again. Then you got these guys over here. I'll just throw a nade at them. Oh, there's another sword elite. Bam! I thought there was only one. Die. There we go. Alright, yeah, I should move up, because I got, got this camo. Gotta make it last. Gotta make the most of it. Alright, let's see if I can get a stick. Nice. And boom, boom! Alright, let's go loud! I think that's why I got the pistol. Just, it's a little bit better for taking out all these grunts and helping out the marines. Plus that marine's got a sniper, so... Maybe it was a good move on my part. Yeah, I just kind of cleared out all those guys, and that's what I like to use the camo for there. I mean, you honestly could just run through, but hey. Then you got that banshee and another elite coming up. Shouldn't be any trouble. Oh man, there's a there's a ghost too. Oh, there's two ghosts. Jeez, die! Whew, they're just assaulting us. I think you can if you take the warthog. I think you can get through this part. Um, yeah, you could get through this part with a warthog, and you can get it up the cliffs here. Oh man. So often the marines will throw grenades that just do more damage to themselves than to the enemy. <laughs> it's always funny. Alright, gonna see if I can get any of these nades here. And I'm gonna go back for some ammo. Alright, now we're coming up on this door and there's gonna be some enemies. So... Get your nade fingers ready. There we go. See if I can get them with a the rocket. Nice, those marines help out pretty well, honestly. Taking fire and using their sniper. 
Now, for whatever reason, they go—they don't go through this door with you. I don't know why. They just—they just don't want to secure it. They want to stay outside. They—they they like the snow. That's why. Man, these guys take a lot of damage. Now, if I wanted a sniper, I could kill that guy for a sniper and take it, but eh. Let's just keep moving. And man, look at all the blood on the walls. Jeez. Alright, another quiet part. This one has way more grunts in it. If you move through quietly, it's probably best, because, I mean, there's a lot. There's probably the the most grunts in any one area at any point in the game and they're all sleeping so you can shoot and wake them all up if you really want want to see them all running around and see how fast they can kill you I'm trying to get a vision okay so there's an elite right there yeah they just place grunts all over the place BAM and I'll whack you and I don't there's a couple grunts that are awake and a few elites, probably a jackal or two. Oh, that guy could have easily seen me. Yeah, I might as well whack these guys. How? How? All right. See you all in hell. Coming. Coming. Ow! Oh, it's not worth it. It's just so fun whacking them when they're asleep. Wish there were more missions or parts kind of like this. I might as well whack these guys too. Because who doesn't like a good whack? Yeah, and then I like to wake them up and see the radar. Alright, so that part's over. Alright, now we're back in another circular room. We'll be coming out on the bridges soon. This is another relatively difficult part. A lot of enemies, a lot of baddies, jackals, hunters, grunts, and a couple of elites. I think there's a gold elite up here as well, so... Yeah. Definitely gotta take your time as always. You know, there's no rush. Let's see if I can find that gold elite. He should be coming around. Yep, there he is. I know these levels well. <laughs> Not again! I love the grunts. Alright. I'll probably take him out with a rocket. I got, I got enough rockets. Boom! Man, you like how those gold elites can just take a rocket to the face like a freaking champion? Alright. Stocking up on ammo, grenades. Now, I remember there's a couple hunters. Or, no, maybe that's the next room. That room is a pickle, man. You guys saw how many enemies were there. Back on the bridge, this time with even more asleep grunts. And now we have an interesting dynamic of enemies on the other side of the bridge. So, you know, gotta take all these guys out. See how high of a multi-kill I can get. I think that's a kill catastrophe. Ooh, there was the 10th right there for the Killionaire. All right, now as soon as you fire something, you know, those grunts on the other side are gonna wake up. Uh, quite honestly, I'm just glad I don't have to deal with any rocket launcher flood on this level. Honestly. Alright, we're gonna take out as many of those guys over there. And this will be pretty taxing on the pistol ammo, as you'll see. Right, because if you try to move through, man, and then look at all those red elites. You know, they, they throw the book at you on this one. But if you try to move through, you know, as I've been saying, it's just, it's just pretty risky, you know? Alright, those guys are done for. Got a lot of grenades on this bridge, too. Uh, it's also a neat thing, I might have mentioned it before, but when elites die, even though they don't throw grenades, they'll drop them, you know? So it adds on to chain explosions, allows you to pick more of them up. 
It's just a neat little thing that helps with the gameplay. But uh, I don't think in Halo 2 they drop grenades. So yeah, take this part slow and steady and you'll get to the end. Now there's some invisible elites here, because I know they're there, right? So, you know, I played this. There's one, and there's dead one. Woo. Yeah, that was a real bad joke act, man. It wasn't even a joke, it was just... Anyways. Alright, gonna take these guys out. You see I'm almost out of pistol ammo, man? That's how many grunts there are at this part. Of course, I'm not exactly judicious with it, but I think I cleared out all the invisible elites. Yeah, it looks like there was two. All right, moving on. And there are a lot of circular rooms and a lot of repetitive design in this, but it never bothered me too much. Because um, I always liked the gameplay. But wow. Wow and wow. There we go. Missed the first nade, missed the back smack, but hit the second. So we good. Well, I was getting ready to stick that guy there. Nope, not yet. Come on. I think we got him. Is there two two red elites? There's gotta be. Now I could I could be aggressive and push forward, but there we go. Yeah, there is two. Oh man, there's three of them. Jesus. I think that's enough, Bungie. Fuck. See what I'm saying? You know, that's why I kept the rockets, because there's just so many guys. So many red elites. Of course, you can take them out with, uh, you know, plasma pistol or if you're good at sticking plasma grenades, but I use the rockets. And there's more rockets, thank the gods. Getting pretty well stocked on ammo grenades and all that. Alright, don't need none of that. There we go. Fully stocked. It's always a smart idea to just, you know, stock up on everything. Then we got a long corridor here. And this isn't the one with the sword elites. There's a, there's a corridor like this with sword elites. Maybe that's two betrayals. Maybe that's later in the level. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, just some more grunts and stuff. Jackals, not too difficult. And there we go. I think there's a camo as well. Maybe that is on two betrayals. I often get mixed up on which encounters are where, you know, because the levels are so similar. All right. Yeah, there's no camo. I'm sure of it now. All right, now we're in the next room. Gonna stick this guy because I haven't been good at back smacking lately. Also, gotta love the death sounds they make. It's just so like blood curdling and and convincing. Now I never counted how many shots it takes to kill a blue elite or a red elite, but I have a pretty good idea in my head. It'd be an interesting tidbit to know. Alright, so this is another circular room, but it's a bit different because it's got that structure in the middle and a fuck ton of guys on the radar. Jesus. Should be no problem, though. No problem for a champ like me. More elites. Yeah, you can go through the sides, through the middle. You know, there's always options. Of course, you don't, you don't really have to kill those guys in the middle. I think... As I said before in one of the other videos, there's like a, a barrier that stops that stops the AI from going too far. Man, even the red elites take a rocket like a champ. Jeez. He should be coming up in my face any second. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he died. Oh, there he is. And there he isn't. Man, so many elites. It never felt too difficult, though, honestly, playing this game. Except for the rocket launcher flood. And two betrayals. Fuck, when we get to that mission, that level has so many rocket launcher flood. Like, the library's only got four or five. Two betrayals has, like, 20. It's ridiculous. Ah, the pistol. Such a good weapon. Useful for everything. Alright. Eh, probably don't have to mess with that guy, but now we do. And now he's dead. Alright, so we can move on. 
Man, there's still more grunts. Jeez. They take bullets like a champ, though. Uh, lucky there wasn't a whole lot of nades, so I didn't get chain explosioned. We're on the second bridge. This time with hunters on the other side. I can get why people don't... Ah, there we go. Nice. That was nice. Made it easier on myself down the road. But shit, am I low on plasma... Or, am I low on pistol ammo? That was a nice stick, though. But I can, I can see why people don't like some of CE's levels as much, you know, being the same structures and all that, but you know, personally it never bothered me. Let me know if it bothered you or if it didn't in the comments. Let me know. Personally, I always thought it was just more fun gameplay. Alright, so the same kind of strategy applies on this side of the bridge. Alright, just gotta take out those hunters and then we'll be on our way. Man, there's a, you can always expect something to come out of the doors. Ah, invisible elites, more of them. You're up to your old tricks, Bungie. But I see through it. I know them too well. See if I can, you know, get them out. I told you, I really hate them. I don't like dealing with them at all. I mean, not, not that I think they're poorly designed, but I just, you know, hate going up against them. Uh, so they're probably all dead. Maybe there's just one invisible elite. But not too bad. We should be coming up on, I think, another circular room. And then, uh, the little bridge with the banshee on it. So, same strategy as before. Just gonna take our time, go through meticulously. Oh uh, yeah. This is like the most underused, underheard song in the Halo soundtracks. It's called The Lost Muse, but it's not included with the, the original soundtrack and like the disc and all that. I couldn't find it for the longest time. Oh fuck, I missed that. Oh boy, oh boy, get away, get away. Woo! Shit. Yep, this is the part with the sword elites. I'm gonna try and get them with the nade because I got fucking, I got fuck all else. Oh boy, oh boy. You see, you can't aim when they're invisible. Can't aim for shit, but I got him. Whew, that was a sticky pickle. I reckon... There's one more, perhaps? Turn the corner slowly? Alright, oh, yeah, no more. This is, this is the part with the invis. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. There it is. Yeah, I'm making really sh... Oh, I knew there was another invisible elite. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Got him. Alright, let's get that. And we'll barrel through this part. Then we got hunters, and then it's the, uh, the bridge. Yeah, see, this mission certainly does take uh, a decent amount of time to go through uh, semi-perfectly. And I could have done some things faster and better, but hey, this is my playthrough. Take it for what it is. And we'll get the plasma rifle. I don't think there's a... Uh, yeah, no sniper, no rockets. I'm spending too much time looking around for this shit. Gotta move on. Don't need to fight these guys, and I won't. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, hoo hoo! Oh shit, oh shit, get through, get through! Alright, this part... This is, this is a really hard part, too. Um, because you can get that Banshee over there, but it's extremely difficult on Legendary. There's so much shit going on, so many things trying to kill you. I'm trying to prevent him. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, I'm trapped. Oh, shit. There's grunts over there, but... I think there's something weird going on. Ha! <laughs> Check out that glitch, huh? I must have hit the loading zone at just the right time, because all those guys are... <laughs> they're just sitting there, they're not taking damage or nothing. Man, I was blown away by that glitch. Alright, this part's pretty difficult, especially because I'm at 2 health. It's going to take all my wits to get through. Man, I'm still... 
I'm still laughing at that. Man, I've never seen that happen before. Must have hit it just perfectly on accident. All right. Man, that red elite is giving me some trouble. I don't know what he's looking up at, but I'm hoping I can take him out before he takes me out. Oh, shit. Two banshees. Gonna be firing fuel rods and, and plasma bolts and all that, so... Yeah, this part's really difficult, man. You can see I'm really struggling right now. God, couldn't even finish him, but... Uh, oh, come on. It's not... Ah, uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth dying. But you gotta take risks. And uh, a nice little thing is that the Elite's shield recharge is much slower than yours. So it takes a, a much longer time for it to start recharging for them than it does for you. Alright, so we're going to take these Banshees out. Probably take the Wraith out. And there we'll go. Alright, almost got the Banshee. There he goes. And I just heard an explosion, but what was that? How did I get so many kills? <laughs> okay, now it went off, and now, <laughs> now I'm going back. Oh, you hit the loading zone, and now they're back awake. Isn't that funny? I think that's hilarious. Alright. Now, I think I'm going to try and take out the Wraith, because, you know, he's going to be firing bolts at me up here and when I'm on the ground, so if I take him out early, you know, I don't have to deal with him when I'm down there. Oh, wake up, buddy. Wake up. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Do some damage. <laughs> he's just spinning. He, he doesn't know what to do. I think he's pretty weak. Come on. Come on. Alright. We're going to take him out and then head forward. Alright. Running into some troops on the bridge here. As I said before, you know, you always gotta expect that something's gonna come out the door. That's the Halo Combat Evolved way. Now, I think there's gonna be a couple hunters that will give me some real problems here. Of course, with all my health missing and everything. Yep, yep, hunters. I knew it. Oh, and some grunts, apparently. Yeah. Gotta take them all out as I can. They're never a gimme. Hunters are never a gimme. Well, sometimes they are, but not always. Just because they have one crippling weakness doesn't mean they're, you know, they're nothing to worry about. Alright, so we're gonna dance around and then we'll go. Ah, now it's one of my favorite songs playing. Fucking love this theme. Of course, you know, its impact is a bit lessened being the, you know, seventh or eighth time you're in this type of room, but hey. Yeah. I don't know why, I always thought this was just such a great outro song, such a good Halo song. Of course, I don't remember hearing it all that much in the in the game itself, but I think it plays at this part and at the end of Two Betrayals. I think that's the only two parts that this song plays. But they also remixed it for Halo Reach, which was which was a really nice touch. Oh, they did it for Halo 2 and 3. Marty O'Donnell must have really liked this song. Let's see if I can Oh ho, nice stick. Nice stick. Alright, I don't see any elites, so this part is looking decently easy. Still got my pistol. Both pistols. Same strategy as before, taking those guys out. Now, on the two Betrayals missions, there's flood that pop out of those areas up there. And man, that always throws me off. Come on, Jackal. Yeah, with two bars of health, you know, you can't you can't get up in the face of a Jackal. It's, it's just too risky. We'll take this guy out just in case I come back. And there we go. We'll get a nade and a new pistol. All 
Alrighty, so we got an elevator and then the final area. Oh, more invisible elites. This level's chock full of them. Oh, I heard one. That's another nice detail as they shout when they see you, so it lets you know that, you know, you've been spotted. And with invisible elites, that's key. So paying attention to the sounds that you're hearing is crucial. Now, if I get caught out by one of those guys, I'm, I'm as good as dead, dude. Two bars of health, that won't last me long. Especially being that they're harder to shoot, you know? But I think we'll be able to move through. I'm checking all the corners for invisible elites because I do not want to go back and retry this whole level after all this. Yeah. The plasma pistol is a surprisingly good weapon in Combat Evolved. You know, compared to its usage in the other games, it's just not as strong as it is in this one. Though I think in Reach it's, it's pretty good as well. I'm sure dual wielding had, had an effect on how strong they could make the plasma pistol. Yeah, I'm not gonna push too hard because if there's an invisible elite that I don't see and I'm fighting forces that I think are there, you know, I just can't take risks like that. Will I go for those nades? I think I will. Yeah, I'll go for that one. And that one. I shouldn't check up here, it's risky. Oh, but it paid off. Rockets, ammo, oh yeah. Man, I needed pistol ammo, so that's good. They always put put ammo and stuff in the best places, so I'm all stocked, good to go. I'm ready to take on the final section. Now, quite honestly, I most of the time I just get the Banshee and revert back to checkpoint when I don't get it. That's honestly how I'd play this level. You know, me and my brother would always play that, so I honestly did not you know, come down and go through this area all that often. Alright, but should be getting a ghost there. I, I think there's more banshees. I want to say there's more banshees. I bet there's more banshees. But I could be wrong. I think I took them all out. Alright, taking out all those guys. Now with the ghost, you know, since we took out the wraith, he won't be firing down on us. Uh, which is really nice. Yeah, we'll take this guy, and you can kind of just go straight up the level, or straight up this final area. Uh, I think I'm checking... Oh yeah, because there's hunters up here. Boom, I remembered. And that guy's toast. And that guy's toast. Now, those hunters were pretty far apart compared to everything else. Alrighty. We'll be using the ghost and getting up there. Yeah, I, I could. You saw earlier, I tried to get up the side, but uh, I couldn't get it for whatever reason. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Or maybe the, the, I think there's a trick to it. All right, little guy. Now, I don't know what this visual bug is going on with the plasma pistol, but there's also a there's also a sound bug that goes on with the plasma pistol in MCC. You might have noticed it's it just constantly makes noise like the the charge up shot noise even when I'm just normally firing it it's annoying as hell um, and that's that's a specific MCC bug that of course hasn't been fixed but hey all right so we're moving up this final area is pretty awesome I gotta say all these fortifications another uphill battle you hear that yeah you hear that right now like why is it making that noise you know god all right watch the grenade there there goes the turret. I think there should be an elite coming up here. Or just more grunts and jackals. No problem, no biggie. You get a good nade in there, it's all good. God. I honestly don't want to use the plasma pistol because that bug was so aggravating to me in this playthrough. But you do, you do what you gotta do, man. You do what you gotta do. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Three shots, three melees. All right, so we're looking pretty good. No elites yet, surprisingly, but man, more hunters. This level has a lot of hunters. I'd say there's 
maybe 16 so far that we've seen. There's a lot of them. But you got your handy dandy pistol, so there should be no problem. Yeah, after that first hunter that I tried to fuck around with, I, I stopped fucking around with them, you know? I was like, okay, time to get serious. Alright, we'll take out these grunts and then we'll just have one final section. And bait the melee, ba-boom. Okay, this part. Now there's a really funny glitch if you don't know. You can take a ghost and, and ram yourself through the door and all the enemies won't react to you until you open the door. But I'm gonna back up, get some space, make sure I can take them out from a distance. Because I got plasma pistol and pistol for days. That sword elite's gonna... Oh yeah, he's coming for me. Coming for my blood. Oh shit. I missed that. Oh, okay, there we go. Woo! And the music kicks in, man. It always kicks in at the right moment. Thank you, Marty. Couple more elites, one more grunt, and that should just about do it. Take him out from range. No reason to go balls to the walls here. I think there's a couple jackals too, if I'm not mistaken. Stop dodging so much, man. There we go. Those elites, they're so agile. Last guy. And then... Woo! And I think Cortana gives her line. Uh, I'm just making sure there's no more enemies. Let's do it, Cortana. I'm ready. Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching. Now, if you're wondering why I sped up some of the footage, it's because this, this level took me a lot longer than some of the others, so I didn't want it to be, you know, an hour and 11 minute video. Uh, I don't think you and I have the patience for that, but I think I kept the most interesting parts. You know, this is one hell of a good cutscene and sets us up for the next level, which is one of my favorites, 343 Guilty Spark.